And we have with us Najid Qasim, um, who is uh, with Kila. Um, it's a startup working uh, to change the business of nonprofits. Uh, welcome in our program. How are you doing, Najid? I'm fantastic. It's an honor to be on the show. Thank you for taking the time. Tell me something about Kila. What a lovely name, though. Thank you. Well, I'll tell you the 10-second history lesson on the name before I tell you what we do. Okay. Kila is a Swahili word uh, for every or all. And as a business, our goal is to help all nonprofits get accessibility to fantastic and sort of game-changing technology. And so, um, you know, my, my dad was born in Tanzania, and I asked him, what can we call this thing? And he said, Kila. So that's how the name came about. Missouri Sana, Minina Penda. <laughs> <laughs> so do you understand any Swahili? Uh, I mean, I understood what you just said, but that's about the extent of my, uh, <laughs> of my Swahili. All right, there we go. So um, what does Kila do? So sort of as we mentioned quickly before, so uh, the nonprofit sector, especially small nonprofits, waste a significant amount of their money to unnecessary costs. It's, it's not just admin, it's wasted admin. So, you know, at Kila, what we do is we build software to help nonprofit organizations, especially the small ones who don't have ac- access to sort of, you know, fantastic technology. We build software that helps them manage their program delivery and their projects, manage their donors, and manage sort of all the pe- their communication. You're also, a, I mean, you've done law degrees and you're also an author. Uh, I understand you... Uh the book High on Life um, and Forward was uh, written by our former Canadian Prime Minister Jean Chrétien. Can we talk a little bit about that? Sure. So I am a lawyer. I apologize. A recovering <laughs> lawyer, as I like to say. <laughs> okay. Um, but I, I was honored. I was young. I think I was 23 or 24 when I, I had the opportunity to work on this book, High on Life. Yes. And what it is, is it's uh, the stories of 17 young, amazing change makers from around the world, wow. from India, from Sierra Leone, from South Africa, from, of course, from Canada. And we were, I was able to help with them, you know, our editorial team and myself, uh, to share their stories of hope, of leadership, of, of young people who have been in tough situations or who have seen a, an opportunity to change the world and do that. And so we were really honored to share those stories Prime Minister Kretschmer, uh, who was no longer the Prime Minister at that time, but he was, uh, we were very lucky and very blessed that he was able to write the forward and endorse it. And he, he said, this is a very Canadian thing, which is one of the most, the proudest moments of my life because, you wow. know, we were able to come together, the, bring the world together in a few pages. And it, it was a really, you know, I, I don't love the book now. I was young when, it, when we helped put it together, but <laughs> I think the stories and, and the passion and the, and the love that you find in those pages, even if the writing, and that's my fault, isn't that good, is very beautiful. So. Well, you know, it's the thought that, that counts. That's the Absolutely. most important thing. All the thing. proceeds from the foundation, mm. uh, from the book, went to a foundation, too. So it was really lovely. Now, end poverty is something that you are very passionate about. I am. Um, so I've been doing volunteering and engaged in the poverty alleviation sector since I was three years old. Mm. Um, I started volunteering with my parents uh, you know, at the Partnership Block and the Aga Khan Foundation stuff. And as I got older, I got increasingly more involved uh, in par- poverty alleviation work. Um, it was, um, it's, it's something I'm very proud to have had an opportunity to, to make a little, little impact within my life. You know, Nijid, I've found that um, as an Ismaili, uh, mm-hmm. I am assuming you are an Ismaili by faith. I am. I am. Um, all the Ismaili children are, um, they are exposed to volunteership. Mm-hmm. They are exposed to helping out. They are exposed to what um, His Highness the Aga Khan believes in and, mm-hmm. uh, and, and all the doctrine kids learn at a very young age. Do you, feel, do you feel that has been the driving force behind your passion? I think, like I said, I, I have two first memories. I have playing tennis, which is the other passion in my life, and, and volunteering. I remember, you know, whether it's, um, you know, very, you know, raising money or, or volunteering at events on the day, I don't remember a time before I started volunteering. And right. I think I owe a lot of credit to, to, to my community, and, but mostly to my parents yes. who, who, who 
you know, reminded me that, you know, they at one point had nothing and they were able to become dentists and to do great things in their lives mm. because they, people gave back to them and people built a community. And so with me as, you know, the eldest son in, born and raised in, you know, in Vancouver where, thank God, I've had every opportunity in the world giving back, being part of that community and, and thinking about something more than just myself and my own hopes or wishes and dreams is fundamental. And they instilled that for me literally from the age of three. And because of that, I think it's helped me, you know, do everything from leave the practice of law to build a business around impact to continuing to volunteer and engage to hopefully, you know, through my writing and through my speaking, being able to share some of that wisdom with the next generation. Amazing. And you are also a current member of the Toronto Global Shapers and World Economic Forum. I'm actually Forum. graduating out of it. I'm too old <laughs> now, apparently. So it's a little bit heartbreaking. Yeah, it was, it was a fantastic opportunity. Great young minds. And, you know, I always say if I'm in a room where I'm the dumbest, least inspiring person, I'm in the right room. And I, I hope to continue to put myself in those rooms because that's where all of us get an opportunity to learn and grow, you know. Great to talk to you, Energy. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you very much for the opportunity and have a fantastic day.